Hey guys, Step Games here and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be creating a scrolling like um, looking around FNAF camera style controller inside of Unreal Engine 4 like in FNAF 1, 2 and so on. So, first of all we are going to find our third person character and we are going to duplicate him. I'm gonna name this something like FNAF, FNAF style camera, you name it whatever you want, okay? This is going to be our player. So uh, the first thing we have to do is to set up our camera and like this. I already did, did it right, before. I'm going to get the follow camera inside of the mesh. I'm, go I'm not going to use pawn control rotation, disable this. Just don't touch it and yeah that's that's pretty much it so the first thing we want to do is right click alt tick open tick from here we want to right click and the uh, player controller get player controller uh, right so now we want to convert mouse location to world space see this and from this we want to look at find look at rotation we're gonna plug this into target we are going to get our follow camera reference and drag out get world location also no, 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 no. yes also get world rotation like this we're gonna drag this location into start so now we want to create a timeline, okay, add timeline. We're going to name this something like rotation alpha and we're going to play from start. We, we're going to open this, set the length to just one second and we're going to click on float. We're gonna right click add key to curve float and we're gonna set the time to zero. Right click set the value to one and time to one so that we have it so have the graph like this from zero to one in one second. Now we want to drag out of this and type LERP. We want LERP rotator. Now to A we're gonna plug get world rotation. And to B, we're going to plug this find look rotation, like this. I am going to save, compile. And now what we want to do is drag out a follow camera and type set world rotation. We're going to plug it into update. And we're going to plug this in. Compile and save. And the last thing we want to do is go to begin play. I'm going to get player controller once again. You want to drag out. I'm going to show mouse cursor. No, no, sorry, not get set mouse cursor. No, uh, I'm stupid, sorry. Show mouse cursor, yes, like this. We're gonna set it, we're gonna set it to true. We're gonna go like this, set input mode, and we're gonna choose game and UI, like this. And we're going to disable this. So now it should all work. So we're gonna go to the level and right here at game mode we're gonna we're gonna go to world settings and under game mode we're gonna set the game mode override to third person game mode. Now we have the default pawn class, we're gonna click that and we're gonna choose the new player that we created, so FNAF style camera. And now if we press play, we look where the mouse is pointing. smoothly and nicely. 
Now if you want to increase the speed of this, you want to shorten the time right here. So uh, maybe like 0.5 and set your value to also 0.5. No, no, sorry, I'm, I'm not value the time like this. So if we do this, it's kind of faster, but it depends on how you want it. Uh, the next thing is the flashlight. If you want, if you want to create the flashlight, I'm gonna create cre create it uh, right here. I'm gonna create a light spotlight. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you create it. I think I'm gonna just detach it and just leave it. And I'm gonna drag it right where the camera is, like this. I'm going to a little make the cone a little smaller like this and I'm going to increase the intensity I'm going to save compile and now let's go back to the event graph now we want to drag the spotlight set world oh sorry set world rotation this is going to be this right here we don't need a lerp we just need this so if you save now if we look we have a working flashlight so uh, that's everything I wanted to show you if uh, you want to kind of restrict where you want to look where, where you can look you can do it like this we are going to um, get uh, just unplug this and we are going to right click and spray split struct pin now I'm not really sure wait a minute okay it's it's Z okay so we're going to drag out of this and we're gonna clamp clamp float we're going to right click also here spread split struct pin drag this like this and plug this in. Now um, set this to which whatever like um, rotation you want. So I'm going to want, um, for example, I am going to choose a cube right here and cube right here. And I want the player to just look at these two cubes. So I'm going to tr get a character right here and I'm gonna look at the rotation. So if he looks like this, it's 34. And if we look like at, at the left cube, it's minus 37, I think. Now if we press save, I'm gonna delete, it, de delete this player and we're gonna play. You can see that we, we are restricted where we can look. Um, we can do this to everything pretty much. We can do this to the Y. Something like this, I, I'm not really sure. Maybe a little less. It really depends on how you want it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this so you can set it how you want however you want um, yeah this is for the video um, soon I'm going to create uh, I'm going to show you how you can interact with objects in this you know in this game we just created but for now I think this is pretty good um, the mouse may not be shown in the video because of the recording, but uh, don't worry, it's it's actually there. And yeah, this is uh, this is a tutorial. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video.